are you excited to come to Paris? It's the first time. How do you feel about coming to Paris to play? Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. Uh, really excited. Like out here so far, it's really nice. Um, like the area I'm in, it's just dope. A lot of stores and just I like the how it's built. You know, just walking around like the town and the city is, is pretty cool. And yeah, of course, excited for tomorrow as well. Just like we adapt when we, you know, go across to the West Coast trips and everything, um, you know, we're pros and we've, we, it's, it's tough obviously, but, you know, we get a lot, we get paid a lot of money to be able to adjust. So uh, we've been doing it for a while, um, you know, like I said, going on West Coast trips and stuff, but it's not too bad. Um, I mean, when is, when, when aren't the, the French national team really good? You know, they're always nice. Um, just a lot of talent, you know, ever since I was young, I've seen a lot of guys go up and even now, like you said, with Wimby and you still got like Fournier in the league and every guy's like that. I know Fournier don't get that many minutes now, but he's like ridiculously good at basketball and it's like unbelievable that he's not playing, but it's just sometimes how the NBA is at times, but you got a lot of really good players. Do you think about the Olympic Games? You know, you played in the World Cup. Do you, know, do you have that some, somewhere that in your head somewhere? Or you think about it now that you're in Paris? Um, yeah, I, I actually didn't know. I forgot the Olympic Games was here until somebody brought it up to me. But, now, yeah, um, you know, like, you know, we'll see when that time comes, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's always there. But, you know, more importantly right now, just trying to, you know, win games. Say that again, I'm sorry. You had some activities with kids yeah. yesterday. What do you think about the basketball culture here in Paris? Oh, dope. It's, it's, it's really good. Um, We actually have it today. We have, like, the uh, NBA Cares today, so it's going to be dope to see that. But you could tell pretty ba pretty big basketball fans here. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, you got so many talented guys that don't even make it to the NBA that are out here and still hooping. So I know basketball is a big culture thing over here. How's it going, man? How you doing, um, man? Just with this kind of extended break in terms of games, one game in eight days, do you view that as a positive after kind of the recent losing stretch where you can regroup, or do you really just want to get back out there and get things on the right track? Um, positive and negative. I think positive is, yeah, you get a little bit more time, um, a little bit more rest, but I think the negative is thinking about the rest of the schedule and knowing that if we play one game in eight days, you know, it's not, it's not like we still don't play 82 games, so you know the rest of the schedule will be a little bit more hectic. So that's the the negative. And then with FIBA now the Olympics, your basketball journey has provided you some international opportunities. Are you able to like reflect on that in the moment, or is it hard to you know appreciate that while you're in it? Um, for me personally, it's tough while I'm in it. It's kind of when I'm relaxing and thinking about it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like the more I think about the World Cup, obviously it's tough because we didn't win, but thinking about the places I've visited, I kind of, you know, reminisce a little bit now and then in the moment when I'm there. Now that you're leaving this experience, like being in Paris, with all the logistic stuff you have to go through, do you think the NBA can sustain to having more games in Europe, for example? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think for sure. Uh, yeah, um, I think so too. It just has to, you got to figure out what the schedule That's the That's the toughest thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think maybe if we do come out here, maybe for the future, play more than one game, you know, if maybe play Cleveland twice and figure that out besides, but also that it's, it's tough because then you got to figure out the home games and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I think if you, if you do come out more, maybe play more than just one game, if we're going to be here for a little bit. What do you think about the season in tournament? Was it a good experience? Is it a good innovation? I mean, yeah, it was cool. Obviously, I would probably like the more if we would advance, but, um, it was cool, especially just, you know, everybody's competitive. And, um, you know, the world, I think, thinks too much about the guys really want the money that bad. It's not really that. It's just we're high-class athletes and high-class competitors. And everybody wants to win. And so it's like, and Adam knows that. And they, we know that. They're just high, we're just high competitors. So if you put some out there for us to win something, everybody's going to go hard and try to win. It's just like that competitiveness we have. And it, it goes longer than just basketball. Everybody I know and play with, they're all competitive in every single thing they do. If it's bowling, if it's miniature golf, if it's any little thing, everybody's so competitive. So 
that's why I knew it was going to work because, yeah, you could say the bonus and maybe the world sees it and it's like, oh, like, these guys uh, want this extra 500000 which is a lot of money. But, yeah, they, that's a benefit for them. But everybody's just competitive and wants to have that title of, like, yeah, like, we won and you did it. So, so for the fans, I think beginning of the season, it's a bonus for them, you know. Yeah, because you – Nice activation, right? For sure. You get that tournament feel and, you know, playing like it's the playoffs. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.